OK, Alan, the big news today, of course, is that the £18 billion nuclear project at Hinkley on the Somerset coast has been approved by the UK government. So now there's been a lot of storm and anger about whether we should be doing this at all. It's incredibly expensive. The French labour unions don't like it. The, uh, the French uh, finance director of the company resigned over it. That's, that, right. that's, this that's is not, not the even to mention what, how, how people feel about it here. Yeah, so. exactly. So nobody really likes this project. But leaving aside all that politics, Tell me about EDF. I mean, should EDF be celebrating that, that this stage is over? Well, I think to a certain extent, they've, you know, it's been three years uh, talking about it. They've gone through another UK government. There's been stops, starts, um, delays, not the least of which in July, where yeah. Theresa May's uh, government put a, put a halt to uh, the project. And that there. was about something to do with the Chinese, I understand. Yeah, so the Chinese are meant to be a third, of, roughly a third of the Hinkley Point project, yeah. um, two thirds to EDF. Uh, the, the thing is, the EDF is a very indebted state-run, well, state-controlled, French state-controlled uh, company. They, they need projects to go right. Yeah. Um, this was one that they had hoped would do well. Yeah. Um, it, the return, if everything is completed on time, on budget, which yeah. is already tricky, they're not going to pour any concrete, as I understand, until 2019. Yeah. Right? That was going to give them a 9% return. Now, interest rates are very low. Yeah, that's you good. Might I mean, say. 9% seems like, well, now we understand why they want to do it. Yeah, we? surely. But then they have to be on time, on budget. And I think we were talking about some figures. Yeah. You know, if they're off by a couple of years, very possible. Look what yeah, happened sure. in the last few years. Um, off by two or three years. Uh, cost overruns, and suddenly yeah. that could easily go to eight, seven, six uh, percent return. And so. if I understand it right, they've got debt of something like thirty-six billion. Net they're already net, and their cash debt. flow. I know they run a whole bunch of nuclear power stations in France, but they're not yet generating cash. They, I mean, to be fair, electric utilities are often you know stretched in terms of cash yeah. flow. But this, you know, this is a company who's got a lot of projects right. going. Um, some of which are delayed. One in France, uh, one in Finland, yeah. badly delayed. Uh, they haven't had positive free cash flow, f well, at least since uh, 2011, and that's only if I include some asset sales. Right. So, in other words, to summarise, I mean, th they're pleased this delays out the way. They don't want to be held in suspended animation for long. But uh, how's the share price reacted today, and how how would you react as a shareholder? I think the to this? the expression is meh. It fell. Yeah, it fell about one and a half percent today. Right. So, so the reaction is, show me more. I think the market wants to see more. They still have to show how they're going to get debt down. We would expect some sort of an equity issuance in order to help pay for some of this. Yeah. And there are still some, you know, questions about whether the Chinese are really going to be allowed to participate in this or want to really. So, so a lot of uncertainty yet to come. A lot more equity to be raised. No wonder the shareholders are shrugging. So thank you, Alan.